In a previous video, we looked at the Abyssinian crisis, and we saw how the Abyssinian crisis leads to the remilitarization of the Rhineland with Hitler. So let's take a look at that today, this remilitarization of the Rhineland. First of all, let's take a look at what the, R the Rhineland is. The Rhineland is this area along the River Rhine that separates Germany from France and from Belgium. And we know that all of this area is contentious ground. As per the Treaty of Versailles, no soldiers were allowed in the Rhineland, no German soldiers. There was definitely a, a group of, of people there that were keeping the peace after the First World War. So with the remilitarization of the Rhineland, Hitler really is taking a gamble by sending in his troops. Um, and he does this in 1936. He's hoping that the League of Nations will not do anything about it. So. The big question is, would France stop Germany? Because France was definitely not a fan of Germany going into the Rhineland and wanted that protected. During this time, as stated previously, the League of Nations is dealing with this Abyssinian crisis with Italy and Abyssinia. So they're occupied with this. At the same time, France is divided. Some people say that they should go to war. Other half says, no war, please. And so there's not a direct answer from the French government. So Hitler goes in, no one stops him, and he, he wins the day on this one. Hitler's popularity soars in Germany as a result. He's seen as a hero, someone that's turning back the Treaty of Versailles that did so much damage to them. Now the major question with this is would Hitler gamble again, and what would he gamble on next? Will it be Poland? Will it be France? Will it be Czechoslovakia, Britain, Russia, or Austria? Um, and we see that he, he tries to get all of them.